So there's several attributes that I think a woman of influence have, but some really key ones I, I think bring women bring to the table are competency, influence, and of course you have to bring some pizzazz with you. You can't, you can't influence others and build the camaraderie that you need with your teammates if you don't bring the pizzazz as well. They, there is a way to connect with people and that pizzazz helps you. Um, you know, as a veteran that was transitioning into the, to the business world, there are several uh, attributes as well that you bring together, you bring with you from your training. And uh, those things for me are definitely courage, something you have to have in order to be in the military. Assertiveness, absolutely. You need to be able to, you know, communicate clearly and describe your vision qu quickly and crisply. Um, and, you know, leadership, how do you how do you lead others? It doesn't matter if you are the leader, you need to bring the leadership attributes to the table and help uh, perform with your team. And then last, but the most important, I think, is the service to others. Those that join the military and serve our country are there because we want to serve others. We want to help protect and defend our country. And that mentality really goes with you for the rest of your life. So bringing that into the business sector is critical even though you're not serving necessarily your country and people, you're still serving those around you, your coworkers, your colleagues. And we have to always remember that we're trying to be there to serve and to um, ensure that we have team camaraderie and a common vision. And all of those things I think are connected to that service to others. And those are the really key elements of transitioning uh, into the business world.